How's it hanging, YouTube? It's Peter here from Triple G Comics. Welcome back, and I'm joined as usual by my good friend Efren. How are you doing, Efren? Hey, I'm doing good, Peter. What about yourself? Not so bad, mate. Not so bad. So we're good. here again to talk about our top five advanced picks. So let's crack on. Loving that intro, Efren. Loving it. <laughs> Thank you, Canva. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so these are our monthly picks for the month of July 2022. Um, as usual, we've each picked five books to look at, and then we've got a book that's coming out shortly. Um, the, so the week after this video will probably air. So let's crack on and see what we've picked. So we've got one of each here. So Efren, we'll start with you. What if Miles Morales? This is what if Miles Morales five of five. Anything to do with Miles Morales is so hot nowadays. Yeah, you know. So I, he's going to be coming in the Marvel universe, the cinematic Marvel universe, one of these years. And I think all these books are going to explode. You know, depends which book it is. Obviously, his first book is media. It's already hot, but this is um, basically there's different Mileses um, in the What If series, and at the end they um, try to save the universe. You know, the, the multiverse assembled to overcome threat against all realities. And I, I haven't read, I think I read the first couple of ones. You know, it's been a good storyline. I, I just really like this cover. It just shows all the different um, Miles Morales in different universes. Yeah. So have you read any of the, these ones so far? I've read like the first one or two. And it's an entertaining um, storyline. You know, it's not like really grabbing at me, but I've, I have been buying these. But it's a yeah. Miles Morales, basically. Yeah, I picked up the the Miles Morales Wolverine one, I think, and read it, and it was an easy read. Yeah. Um, so I, I hadn't, I think I picked it up because of the cover. I hadn't realized it was part of a wider story. So yeah. I might pick this up and, and give it a go. He's the, he's the Spider Man of the future. You know? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Completely agree. Yeah. Yeah. So next we've got Rogue's Gallery. So this was very much a, a, a kind of a one I spotted the cover for. I picked it up to have a look at. Uh, oh, sorry, I had to look at the order because I thought it was related to the Flash, the Flash villains, the rogues, and oh, then okay. realized it's an image book, so it couldn't yeah. be. Um, the cover grabbed us, and then I read the description. I thought, yeah, that sounds good. So I'll just read out what it says. This is The Purge Meets Scream in a home invasion thriller that follows a disenfranchised TV superhero actress as she is terrorized by an unhinged group of intruders, cosplaying her day jobs arch villains. Oh, I mean, that to me sounds amazing. So, uh, I mean, it had us straight away at, you know, Purge Meets Scream because they're two of my favourite series. I love both of those. So, um, yeah, I give, I will definitely give that one a go. I think it sounds interesting. And I do like my horror type books. So have a yeah. go at that one. That's a good pick. I didn't think, I missed that one completely. I think I'm going to add it to my uh, purchases. Um, yeah. Plus it's a number one. So Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so next, oh, look at that. Tremendous. So my next one is um, Grim number three. I don't think it's come out yet, this series, um, but it's by Boom Studios. And this is um, issue one, like I said, it hasn't come out yet, but it's just this excursion to the world of the living yields grave consequences when her boss imposes some um, intense penalties. So it looks like she's a Grim, um, what do you call him, Grim Keeper? Grim Reaper. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, it's a continuing storyline and uh, I've I haven't read chapter one yet or uh, the first issue, but this cover, I went, wow, this is a nice looking cover. So yeah, it's I got it. So the artwork on this is phenomenal. I, I think um, I think the first issue might be out this week because the okay. guys over on the Killer Comic Show, which is a UK um, YouTube channel, um, reviewed or looked at it. And I think there was like obscene amounts of issue one variants. Yes. Um, but some of the artwork on them is stunning. And I love that cover. I think it looks beautiful. Yep. So my <laughs> my pick. Do you have a clue what I'm looking at here? Have you ever heard of Mad Balls or Garbage Pail Kids? I've heard of Garbage Pail Kids, but not Mad Balls. Yeah. So Garbage Pail Kids um, and Mad Balls, I think, from my childhood. Um, the Garbage Pail Kids were a card series, and I just went mad for them over here. I haven't got any, but I am looking for a series one for my collection just because I. I've got such fond memories of them. The Mad Balls were around the same time and they were basically a toy line and a comic line um, of, of balls, basically. So I picked this up a little while ago. This is, I think, called Touchdown, Touchdown Terror. 
and this is one of the mad balls. Um, so basically, these were all tennis balls or footballs. Obviously, this is a an American football, um, which were were kind of mutated into monsters. So I, I saw this cover, and I couldn't believe they were doing a comic book about it. So this is the first official crossover comic of the Mad Balls versus the Carbage Pale Kids. Um, I'll not read the full blurb because there's quite a bit about it, but basically it says it's, you know, the, the um, first time the heavyweights of gross comedy combined forces. I will most definitely be picking that up because it looks great. So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's just an interesting cover. I'm just keep on staring. <laughs> you know, it's like, dang it, man. So, yeah, nice. I'll, be, I'll be going for that one. Oh, nice. So, Tell my me. next pick is uh, Once in Future, number 27. Looks like it's, I'm assuming it's King Arthur that's on there, because you see, you show his crown on the bottom, right on the bottom left-hand side. Are you up to date with it, Alfred? With, with I Once think I am. I think I may be an issue or two behind. Okay. So, so I've been reading it in trade paperback, and I know there are a number of King Arthurs now, so I'm not sure which King Arthur that is. Oh, wow. Yeah. So this is a great storyline. And anybody who's not reading this book, please do. I mean, it's very enjoyable. You know, and it's like it's an indie book. Um, like I said, it came out from uh, Boom Studios, and it just, this cover just grabbed me. Yeah. Know? So lovely, nice looking book. So my next one again was just a, a cover read, um, and this is by um, Image, Skybound Impact Winter. So as I was looking through the advanced orders, I just clocked that that what looks to me like a vampire looking thing and the lady with a massive sword. So had a bit of a read and it sounds tremendous. So this is, it's been one year since a comet hit earth and blotted out the sun. Now the world is dark, cold landscapes ruled by vampires. In the British countryside, a band of survivors has formed a resistance in the fallout shelter of a medieval castle. So basically it's a vampire kind of fight. And just, yeah. I think it looks great. So I will be picking that one up. And I like that term, art of the vampire. That's that's the kind of vampire look I quite enjoy. And also it's set in England, so I've got to buy it. It's kind of the rules. Yeah, I was I was going to ask you about that. You know, since <laughs> it's set in England, you're going to get this one. God, I miss these books completely when I did. I got to, let me do my list again. Hang on, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I like the look of that one. Okay, so I picked this one purely for the cover. I'm not going to lie to you, you know. This is, um, Arthur Adams is one of my favorite artists. And every time he comes out with a cover, regardless of what the storyline is about, I'm going to get it. Yeah. And this one is X-Men number 13. Uh, it says here, um, the mutants are the next stage of evolution. Evolution depends on a mutation of genes. The genes of the offspring de deviating from their progenitors, if I'm pronouncing that right, some would call the X gene excess deviation. And I have no idea what the storyline is going to be about. But like I said, I mainly got this one for the cover. Yeah. So. I mean, that, that artwork is stunning, isn't it? It really yeah. is just amazing. Right. So my next one is definitely a cover pick again. Um, I'm a big fan of Predator, Alien, all that kind of stuff. I knew that Marvel had the rights to Predator. But these are the first kind of um, books that they're pushing out now. And that, that cover with him holding Iron Man's severed head and the spinal yeah. column dripping out, it just looks amazing. I don't care what the story's about, to be perfectly frank. Um, I'm just going to buy that because I just love the cover. I think it looks amazing. I, I, my understanding is it's kind of a story set in the future. Um, okay. I, don't, I don't know that it's going to tie into kind of existing Marvel characters. Hmm. Um, but I'll give it a go and see what it's like. But I just think it's an amazing cover. And there's a lot of different variant covers for, for the Predators, I think. You notice he's standing over the uh, Avengers insignia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, God, that's a good point. I wonder if they are going to have the set in the future, maybe a different universe, obviously. Yeah. If he's going to be fighting against superheroes, you know, like the Avengers, stuff like that. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Tremendous. Okie dokie. So, my, you know, I, I like women. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm spotting that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Poison Ivy number two of six. This is a cover by Jenny Frizon, another one of my favorite artists. I have so many of them. Basically, it says here, destroying humanity is a lot of work and a girl's got to eat. On her journey to doom humankind, Ivy makes a pit stop at a roadside restaurant where she meets a hungry poet who makes her question her motives, at least until the cops show up. So 
I haven't read issue number one. I don't think it's out yet. It's just a six issue um, series and uh, just Jenny Frizzon, just her pictures. I mean, her drawings are just always hitting out of the park. You stunning. Know, I really enjoy them. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So my next one, again, is a bit of a nostalgia thing. So we've got Army of Darkness versus the Reanimator. I don't know if you've seen any of those kind of movies, Efren, the, um, the Ash versus... Yep. Uh, love um, the character of Ash, uh, Bruce Campbell. So absolutely um, bought into this straight away. It's also called Necronomicon Rising. Do you know what the Necronom... Can I say it? Necronomicon is... No, I've heard of that word, but I don't know exactly what it means. Well, I've got it. So this is the Necronomicon. This is from um, the Evil Dead movies, and this is the Book of the Dead. Oh, um, I remember now. Yeah, so this is kind of what he reads from to to bring the deadites to life and things like that. And this is a lovely prop book I picked up um, a while ago. Um, but this is supposed to be, obviously, the, the creature's flesh so yeah so i saw that comic and i thought i have to get it basically the synopsis says when an archaeological dig unveils an important element from the world of army of darkness it ends up in the absolute worst hands of all dr herbert west's as west think as in god's domain are reluctant heroes once more drawn into the sphere of destiny as he faces a triple threat of danger so yeah i just think that'll be fun i just think it'll yeah. be a, a kooky story so yeah looking forward to that one so that book where do you keep it? I wouldn't keep it anywhere near my house. I'd put it like away in a safe. You never know. <laughs> yeah. If I see my children reading it, I'll run. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> so my next pick is one of my favorite books. Uh, once again, James Tinney and the fourth, uh, something is killing the children. Uh, number 25. Uh, basically it's just a continuing um, series with Erica Slaughter, the main character. Something's killing the children. I have no idea who this character is. But just mm. her grin and just splatter with blood and the mask she's wearing. I go, who is this character? You know, I'm, I'm pretty caught up with something that's killing the children, but this cover just grabbed me, I, my attention. That's why I chose it. Yeah. It's intriguing, isn't it? it yeah. It, it's certainly intriguing. Yeah. I quite like that one, Efren. Yep. I'm kind of reading something that's killing the children in the, in the hardback volume. So I'm a little bit behind, but um, I might pick that one up, I think. So mine is DC versus Vampires All Out War number one. It's kind of a continuation of the DC versus Vampires storyline, which has been really, really good. Um, and I'm just interested to see what, what happens in this. So it says, against unreal odds and with an unlikely team, including Booster Gold, Deathstroke and Mary Mar Marvel, does the Hellblazer have one more trick up his sleeve? A gritty, violent companion series to DC versus Vampires. So I, I'm looking forward to that. Mm. I think that'll be good. And again, I like the artwork on that. I do think the covers are, are pretty stunning. So I've been reading DC versus um, Vampires, and this is like a, a like a one shot from that. Story. No, it's a kind of a it's a um, an accompanying one. I think it's five issues. So oh wow! Okay. Yeah, part one of five. I think it is. So yeah. one of six. Sorry, one of six. So yeah, so it goes alongside it. Looks good. Looks interesting. Okay, so this is our picks for, um, oh, I've blocked the, the date off there. It's for next week, I think it is, or the week after. Yes. Now, interestingly, Efren, you sent us your image, and I'd already picked my image, so we'll both pick the same book. So these are two different covers for The Closet. So tell me a little bit about The Closet, Efren. Okay, so this book is The Closet, and we both picked it, and we didn't tell each other what we were going to pick. Yeah. You know, but... I, we saw this book when it first came out in solicitations and it's by James Tinian. Um, so I go, I'm buying this book and I bought more than one cover. You know, I bought the, the main cover that the book came out, but some variant covers I've been buying too. Um, the closet is a, it says Thom is moving cross country with his family and dragging the past along with them. His son, Jamie is seeing monsters in the bedroom closet and will not let them go. So, I have no idea where this book's going to go, but it doesn't look, you know, <laughs> not your it, it type looks, of reading book. It looks superb. So, yeah, yeah I, I cannot wait for this. And as you said, we, we didn't know that we we're both picking the same book. Um, I've picked up the, the cover I'm shown there with the, the creature on the bed next yeah. to the, the kid. That's a um, very limited edition, I think four or 500 copies. Um, 
for a, um, a retailer exclusive by an artist called Aaron Bartlin. I think I got who's a phenomenal it. artist too. I know we've both got copies of Last Run and One, and yeah. he, he did that Turtles cover. Um, so he's done this cover. Um, I bought two copies of it because I like it that much. Um, it just it it sets my hairs on edge. It just looks creepy. Um, and James Tinian is a an amazing writer as we know. Yep. So I'm looking forward to getting that one. I think it's going to be great. Do you remember that um, Pixar movie Monsters Inc? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one might be a little bit rougher than Monsters yeah. Inc. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep, I really can't wait to read that series. I think it looks brilliant. Yeah. So, ladies and gents, that's our picks. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you see some stuff there that you might be interested in picking up yourself. Efren, tell the people what you've got coming up on your channel. Actually, right after this, I'm going to try to do some editing. I went to a local comic book store um, here in San Diego, and it's actually a friend of mine that I've gotten to know through the conventions. And I first met him at a at a garage sale and he's been moving up little by little he started doing selling books and conventions and he opened up his own store so i went there and i taped it and i'm gonna be talking about it soon in a video brilliant that's excellent yeah. Efren. really really good yeah and um, over on my channel i've got my usual three four videos a week coming out of comic book and toy content and a couple of live shows we've also now got the sunday geek hangout which is at seven, sorry, eight o'clock UK time, which Efren quite often joins what on. So yeah. please feel free to check that out over at Hydra Collectibles YouTube channel. It's just a, an hour's show where we'll talk about all things geek. Yeah. Okay. So thank you very much for joining everybody. Um, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye everyone.